What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Nick. Welcome back to Nick's Dynasty. Back again with a food review at my favorite fast food spot, Arby's. Got a short rib from a fast food restaurant. Short rib sandwich. Let's do this. Here's the sandwich. It already looks good. It looks thick. Got that flavor coming out the package, you know? Dude, look at that. Let's see if we cannot do that. One hand open. Dude, look at that sauce dripping down. The bread looks kind of basic. Maybe that's what they were going for, but yeah. Look at that. I wish this bread was toasted though, for sure. But this is probably how they eat it back in the OG spot. So after looking online, I saw that both sides of my bread was supposed to be toasted and my location definitely didn't do that. So I'm mad at y'all, but I am super extra and I was actually just trying to heat up my sandwich and end up kind of firming up the outside bread. It's not as buttery as toast as it's supposed to be, but I don't feel like driving back because I don't feel like driving back. But let's take this first bite. We're already starting this off in a bad foot, but let's see if the food itself can, uh, you know, make it better. This is some of the meatiest bite of fast food stuff that I've ever had. It does have some fat chopped up in there, which is good for some flavor. But I keep forgetting that I actually don't like Arby's barbecue sauce. Like, their barbecue sauce is terrible. That's the meat by itself. That meat has definitely been cooking for hours. It's falling apart. It's a little, you can see the fiber, it's a little stringy. Super tender. I don't think there's much flavor going on in there. Let me try it again. So I'm actually, I am getting a hint of smoke. Um, I did have to kind of like slow it down and really get that around my taste buds for it to pop out. So it wasn't super prominent, but there is like a smoky, slightly salty flavor going on in the meat. But the biggest thing about this is the texture of it is actually very, very tender. So much meat. So I'm gonna slow it down right there and just give you my review. Right off the bat, very, very disappointed that my bread is not super toasty like everyone else has got theirs. In my location, you really messed up on that. Um, I don't know what you guys did. It's not even very warm, even. I didn't drive too far for it. Two, Arby's, I hate their barbecue sauce. So, this sandwich is not my favorite because of those aspects. The bread's not how it's supposed to be. It's not super warm. Barbecue sauce sucks. So, if I took this meat outside of this bread and put it on my own buttery toasted bread with my own barbecue sauce, I think I'd quite enjoy it. But this um, is a big disappointment. Arby's, I'm still on your side, but y'all need to make sure all your locations got things going on. And I need to remember to say no barbecue sauce, your barbecue sauce sucks. So, in my classroom, this short rib sandwich is getting a... I think the meat itself is probably bringing it to a C minus. D plus, probably C, I'm gonna say C minus, cause no, I'm gonna say D plus, this is a D plus, man. It ha it's a great idea, but this is not executed well. Y'all didn't toast my bread. It's not warm, barbecue sauce sucks. 
So yeah, I'm very disappointed in Arby's. Yeah. So this is my review of this short rib sandwich. It's not ideal. Maybe I'll doctor it up with some butter on the bread and like grill it up a little bit more, but I'm done. Peace.